Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we're going to unbox, uh, demonstrate, and provide a full review of the Yabber Pro Y9 1080p projector. Uh, let's go over a couple things about the company first, Yabber. So Yabber's been around for a while. They claim that they've been in, well, they say they're in 46 countries. And if you look at their products, uh, they, they really do try to stress the quality of the product. Uh, now that's probably because not a lot of people have heard of these guys and there's a lot of garbage on the market. So I have bought several Pico projectors over the years and in the end returned all of them because they just look like hell. So what I was trying to do with this projector was get something that was portable, good for outdoor use, uh, but also of course good for indoor use, but not be garbage. So it lists on the Yabber website at $280 US. Um, in Canada, which is where I am, uh, it was listed at about uh, 250, 260, uh, but then there was some rebates and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, uh, I ended up getting it down to about $170 Canadian, so uh, 140 US, so about half of what they had it listed at. And I sourced this off Amazon. Now, note that this gets to a good point. They didn't give this to me. Amazon didn't give this to me. This is all completely honest and upfront. So uh, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. It's like I said, it's honest. Okay, so back to Yabber. They have uh, three product lines. They have the King, the Youth, and the Portable. <laughs> we'll start with Portable. Portable's the Pico projectors, little tiny guys. And you know, they're really handy to take camping with you or whatever, but they really produce garbage images. Uh, at least everyone, uh, everyone I've ever tried. Um, then there's the Youth line, which is this. And the King line, of course, is just regular projectors. Some of the specs on this before you consider it uh, are, you know, how far away from the wall do you have to be to, you know, do your projection? Uh, well, in this case, it ranges from about five and a half foot, you get a three foot image. So if you're five and a half feet back, you get a three foot image. If you are 16 and a half feet back, you get a 12 foot image. Their ideal seems to be about 11 feet back where you get an eight foot image. Now these guys have a lot of different product. They've got the Yabber Projector Pro V8, the Yabber Projector Pro V9, the Yabber Projector Pro V10. They've got the Yabber Projector U2, U5, U7, the C450. So there is a lot of Yabber product out there. This one seemed to be the combination of the lowest price with the highest quality. And again, this is the Yabber Pro uh, Y9. And you might ask why I ended up with this one in particular. Well, it was uh, two things. One, the lumens. Lumens is the brightness. So the brightness on this is 15,000 lumens, or so they claim. Now, everybody lies and sort of cheats on lumens, so don't worry about the number too much. Of Don't buy one that's uh, 15 over one that's 14,000 because you think there's some giant difference. There isn't. Once you get past about 10,000 lumens, it's very difficult to actually see the difference. You can go through our, our channel and you'll see we have uh, probably a dozen projector reviews uh, from over the years, both corporate and retail like this product. But the big feature was the screen resolution. This claims to do 4K, so that's 4,000 dots across your screen. That's a lot of freaking dots. Um, now, what that means for me is we figure it'll actually do uh, 1,080, so it'll be 1080p, which is 1,080 pixels across uh, the top of your screen. And, uh, that, and that's because everybody sort of cheats on these things. Now, the 1080 I'm very confident in because this is actually a 1080p projector. That is its native resolution. When you're buying a projector, the number you care about is the native resolution. Don't worry about what it claims it can upscale or downscale or whatever. Worry about the native resolution. That's what you're looking for. Native resolution and brightness, so lumens. And this also has a couple of other features that we liked like it's got uh, Keystone. So Keystone is, you know, if you've got an image on an angle and you want to straighten it, well, you can do that with this. And it has a, apparently a nice Keystone built in. It also has a zoom built in and you think, I don't need zoom. Yeah, you probably do because you will not get your projector in exactly the right place. Uh, and so you're going to need to move the lens a bit. And that's what the zoom does for you. And another really cool feature is that this supports uh, Wi-Fi. So I can connect my cell phone to this mirror my phone onto it. Now, for Apple, it supports Apple AirPlay. For Android, it supports Miracast, which is actually an Intel standard, but we'll leave that alone. <laughs> it also claims to have pretty good speakers. It claims to have dual hi-fi speakers. 
Now we expect them to be probably two, three watts. We don't expect very much out of them. Now when you're buying a projector, you're not buying audio, you're buying video. But also supports Bluetooth. So if you have a Bluetooth speaker, yeah, no problem. Another nice thing is because this runs on Android, you can uh, plug sticks into it. So you could plug in like an Amazon Fire Stick or a Roku. Uh, you could plug in a remote. You could plug in mouse dongles so you could use a mouse or whatever else. It's pretty neat. A little thing that shows you that this is really designed for that in-between market, which is where this is going. This is actually going to my daughter in university. It's a birthday present for her. You can tell that this is not designed for your prosumer because it comes with a nap sack. This is a nice little add-on. It comes with a 100 inch uh, projector screen. And you might think you don't need it, and you don't, but it sure is nice if you're trying to throw something up in the backyard against a garage door or something like that. Uh, and 100 inches, by the way, that is its happy size, according to what I've read and what I've looked at. So this is about what you actually want. And it is nice that they include this. By the way, this isn't garbage. This is actually a heavy weighted material. It's quite reflective. So the image quality is gonna be pretty good. Cables, you've got your RCA cables, uh, in case you've got something really old, like an old um, camcorder or something, uh, HDMI cable, and a remote control. And of course, power cord. Now I'm in North America, so I've got a North American cord. If you're in Asia, you're gonna get a different cord. Another nice thing with this unit is that this control panel is backlit. You've got two USB ports, two HDMI ports, a remote control port, and you've got a headphone jack. Instead of using Bluetooth to get out to your speakers, you might actually cable it in. That might be a way to go. Nothing on this side. On this side, it looks very Google. It's got that gray cloth, uh, which just makes it look a little better. This is a typical cover for the lens. Lens cover, nothing interesting there. Focus and zoom, nothing on this side. On the bottom, you've got your mounts. So yes, you can mount this in your ceiling and it will work just fine. And then over here you have a, uh, a little port, um, like here, that you can use for cleaning. And to do cleaning on this is not very challenging. A little cleaning kit. And all you do is take this screw out and you take these long Q-tips and you run it back and forth, up and down the lens. You do not scrub it. Comes with a manual in all 7,000 languages. Because you're gonna get the lens dirty at some point. Your kid's gonna put their fingers on it. You're gonna put your fingers on it, whatever. It's gonna get dusty. Lens cleaner. And one more thing before we get to plugging it in and getting it working, there's a screw knob here that you can use to adjust. All right, let's go test this thing out. I'm excited. Okay, here we are in my basement. This is my walkout level. It's the middle of the day. It's quite bright outside. It's actually quite bright in here. And you can see I have my projector up in the ceiling. <laughs> That's my proper projector. And I've moved a little uh, cabinet so that I can, I can put the Yammer Pro 9 on. Uh, and here's why. When I bring it around and I show you the image, you can see that that's probably about the right size. When I push it back a little further uh, onto the top of my couch, it's very large. So that's the reason that is there. I want to give you the best example of what this projector can do and give it a fair review. So let's take a look. You can see that this is very clean and very bright. Uh, and the 15,000 lumens is shining through nicely. Now, all I've done with the projector so far is plug it in and press the single on button. So far, I'm super impressed with just the quality of that image. So the first thing we're gonna do is try to play a video off a USB stick. And then tap okay on video. And then let's go down and watch my beautiful girlfriend, Fiona. There's Fiona, is she beautiful? That image is great. And I must say the audio quality on this is really quite surprising. Wow, that's impressive. Now I did notice, I tried to play this video earlier. Let's just see. I can't play this video, that's unexpected. All right, the next thing I want to do is to set up my phone, as in this phone, to work with this uh, projector. So how do you do that? Well, uh, you've got to get them on the same Wi-Fi network. So how do you set this up on Wi-Fi? Well, you go over and then up to settings. Click OK, there we go. Let's set up Wi-Fi. And now I go back and there are the different Wi-Fi networks. And let's go to Miracast because I 
have a Samsung. So let's go over here. So on my phone, I've got to go to Smart View. Android 4483, yes, this is, that's it. Start now. Bingo. Look at that, boys and girls. It's up. So I just tried to set this up with Netflix, and Netflix, while it would cast the audio, will not cast the video. Now, I could probably play with that and figure it out, but just to get you to see how this works, I've just brought up an ad. <laughs> there we go. And I go to full screen, and it goes to full screen. Doesn't that look great? So cool. Very nice. Now, because I'm using YouTube, uh, the phone turns into a remote control. Take a look at that. There we go. Eh? Pretty cool. You can just click on it and off it goes. Okay, now I've got my laptop and I've got the HDMI cable that's shipped with and I'm simply going to plug it into HDMI 1. See what happens. I expect very little. Okay, my laptop has picked up the projector. You can see the laptop flashed, but the screen has not changed. So I have to go down to sources and then change the source to HDMI 1. That's my guess. And let's see if we can get Netflix to play. All right, let's set this to full screen. Okay, so now let's look at a little bit of the finer detail here. So you can see here, that is pretty freaking clear. That's 1080p, that's a nice image. See all the pixels, it's nice and bright. Let me just walk in front of it. And you can see, however, over here, it's a bit fuzzy. Now I can play with the settings and move the projector a little bit. It's not quite straight. I can also play with Keystone. It has all of those settings to resolve some of these issues. But you can see generally, it's pretty freaking clear. Okay, so let's show you how to set up Bluetooth. You simply go over to the right with the right arrow button, up to the cog, and then over to Bluetooth. And Click on it, turn Bluetooth on. Big Jambox is in pairing mode, waiting for device to connect. Now I have already connected this. So for me, it's over on the right side. For you, it'll be down here at the bottom. For me, I'm just gonna go over to the right, click okay, connect, yay. So now let's run through some of the other settings. We're going to go back to the cog. We've been through Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Let's go look at image settings. Now what's nice about this is it's actually a moving image, not a still. Custom zoom. This will be a digital zoom and I don't suggest you use it if you can avoid it. Position of the projector. So is it upside down, you know, hanging from the ceiling? Keystone setting. This is nice. This lets you pull the corners. It's quite nice if you need to adjust because this is on a bit of an angle like that or that. System upgrade, it's already got the most current version, yay. Factory reset, no thanks, and language. There's a lot of other languages. Uh, I plugged a USB stick in, as you can see here. I've gone to pictures, and I'm just gonna click okay. And while I can go through these, it doesn't do it automatically. For a lot of people, um, they might just wanna plug in a USB stick and have them go you know, around and just loop. And they just flat out don't do it. This this device just does not do that, which is a bit odd. And I expect in an update because this is an Android device, it can be upgraded. Okay, so what do we think about this Yabber? Well, is it the best projector ever? No. Is it even close to the best projector ever? Oh, hell no. <laughs> is it a very good projector for 150 bucks? Oh yeah, it's amazing. And does it blow the doors off those little Pico projectors? Yes. Is it ultra portable? Mm, not ultra portable, but highly portable. This is not a problem to move. And with 15,000 lumens, this is going to shine bright enough outside uh, to be used. It has infrared on the front and on the back for the remote. So you don't really care about the positioning. It does flip. It does mount, it's got all of the things that you would expect a regular projector to have. It's just at a much lower price and a little bit lower quality. And you can tell it's at a lower quality because it's at, uh, well, it's branded the youth line. 
and that tells you this isn't the pro line. But it's 150 bucks, so get over it. Backlit buttons, lots of ports, Wi-Fi to support, uh, you know, uh, coming from your phone, Bluetooth to go to your Bluetooth speaker. I don't know what else you're looking for in this kind of price range. It's easy to set up, it's bright, it's clear. We really like it. What's wrong with it though? It has virtually no audio settings. The remote control didn't come with batteries. Oh my, that's a crisis. We didn't test 4K video because that's not what we're projecting. This is a 1080p native projector. Images uh, that don't play on a loop. Okay, so plug in your laptop and use an application that plays them on a loop. So overall, we think the quality of the product is good. We like that it's put together well. It's very solid feeling. It's not, it doesn't feel like it's cheap. It's got some heft to it. Uh, it's portable, it's bright, it's pretty clear, it's pretty crisp. Uh, while we think the backpack is a gimmick, it's a good gimmick. I think a lot of people are gonna like that. I just used it to carry a whole bunch of stuff up and down the stairs and I was able to do it at the same time because of this little knapsack. Hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Subscribe's also appreciated. And if you want to get a hold of us directly, you can do so at www.urtech, that's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will. And you know, because it's YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Hey, thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.